I'm glad to take your questions. April. Well, thank you, Sean. How are you today? I'm fine, and how are you? Fantastic. <laughs> Well, Sean, um, going back to some issues that are in the news, um, Nunez is not going to recuse himself. In the midst of all of this back and forth, what does the White House say about that? Well, April, uh, <laughs> the White House, as I, I think I mentioned this yesterday, I mean, uh, he's conducting an investigation. He is the elected or appointed, I can't remember how they do HIPSI over there, but uh, appointed and confirmed or however they but but by his colleagues in the house and the speaker um, he is the chairman he's conducting an investigation it is up to the house of representatives and the speaker uh, and the members of the house republican conference to determine but i i mean there's nothing that i see that that is problematic in him conducting an investigation that we asked both the house and senate intelligence committees conversations the president is having with paul ryan about this because we need to include dems and republicans are talking about what looks like impropriety in uh, the intel chiefs handling of this so far, particularly as there's uh, not a hearing right now. Well, I, I would take issue with the, I, I think you're right that there appear, there may appear to be certain things, but I don't think there's any actual proof or, or sustaining allegation about anything that's done. Again, I mentioned this yesterday. If you look at what Chairman Nunez has done, he has met with people who are clear to discuss classified information regarding a review that he is conducting. That's how it's supposed to. I will tell you that I've seen reports in the media that the NSA has documents that they are um, supposedly trying to get to the House Intelligence Committee that have been requested. I we we think that's a great thing um, if that's in fact what's happening. You said to us from the podium you would look into how Chairman Nunes was cleared here and with whom he met. Can you give us? A, we tried to ask you that yesterday as you walked out. Do you have any information? to live up to the commitment you made here on Monday to provide more details about how that happened in a process you just told us that, again, is above board and totally appropriate. I, I don't have anything for you on on that at this time. But again, I don't, I, I have asked some preliminary questions. I have not gotten answers yet. And I think there's a, but, so no, I don't have anything further on that. But again, I, I would argue, Major, it's interesting, and I brought this up the other day, that there seems to be this fascination with the process. It's how did he get here? What door did he enter? As opposed to what's the substance of what we're finding? When, when I get, not, not from you, and I'm not trying to be, but it's so many times I get these calls that we have an unnamed intel source that says the following substance occurred. Do you, do you admit it? Do you deny it? Whatever. And we have this argument over substance. In this case, the fascination with is with what door did he come in? Who did he meet with? How did he get waved in? As opposed to what I think it should be, and ironically, it's not when it's it's the other the shoes on the other foot is what's the substance? Just yesterday, just to be clear, we started this day with the Washington Post falsely posting a story saying the White House blocked Sally Yates. Right by the end of the day, it's officials blocked Sally Yates. They were wrong. And they jump to a conclusion based on whatever unnamed sources. And I think that what we're trying to do is argue that there should be a process. The chairman of the House Intelligence Committee and others are going through a review. We support that review. And so as, I, as much as I understand that everyone wants to jump to how did everyone get in, what did they do, they're undergoing an investigation. I have a substantive question about that. Okay. But I'm just asking you about something you told us. No, I said I would look into it. Are you going to Look into I will. I will look into it and whether or not. I know. I will. But the obligation is I said I would look into it and I would continue to do that. No. We're damned if we're doing, we're damned if we're don't on this stuff. Because on the one hand, you want certain answers. On the other hand, you want to talk about us being involved. And I think we've tried to keep, if we asked for an investigation. And at the same time, we've tried to make sure that we, we allow that review to go on, that both the House and the Senate intelligence. So we, we can't cherry pick every time that you decide that a piece of information is relevant to what you want. I think that we know that they are undertaking a review. Hold on. What's going on? And the members of the very committee but that's, themselves say they don't know fair enough. what is and being that's a, discussed. Right. How is the process going forward? How is that a workable okay, process? But what I'm saying is, that, or the answer to that question is, that's an answer, a question for Chairman Nunez. I don't have any authority over how the House Intelligence Committee conducts itself. How real does the White House think this possibility of resurrecting health care is? Well, I, I think. The, the president from the early days of his campaign talked about repealing and replacing. It's a commitment that he made. I think he'd like to get it done. I'll share the frustration of many Republicans in Capitol Hill and the sentiments that the House Freedom Caucus, quote, botched this. I think the president's 
uh, comments on this speak for themselves. Um, I have sort of a lightning round about opioids. <laughs> um, uh, is a commission being created? Is Chris Christie the head of that commission? He was sort of talking about it, but I haven't seen anything on it. And what sort of timeline will that commission have in terms of presenting findings? Or what's the goal of this thing? Well, there's, I mean, I think it's easier to start with the goal. I think if you see the round table, and I know the pool will have a readout of this afterwards, the goal is to figure out, I think Governor Christie's been a leader of this in New Jersey. It's, a, it's an issue that plagues countless communities uh, more and more. Um, and, uh, and, and, and so, you know, whether it's New Hampshire or other places in the Midwest, it's, it's sitting there and figuring out best practices and, and how can we get it down and how can we provide the treatment. Um, I mean, I, I think the DEA administrator was noting in, in the discussion that they, we've gotten really good at law enforcement, right? But the question is, um, how, do we, how do we focus on the treatment? How do we focus on the prevention? How do we look at things that happened in the past to deter uh, drug addiction from starting in the first place and to deter young people in particular from starting with drugs? What's the White House reaction to the shooting today at the Capitol? Uh, well, it sounds like a very troubled individual. Uh, obviously, I'll let law enforcement read that out, but um, I, I don't want to get ahead of, I, from what I understand and what I've seen, it's, it sounds like a very troubling instance. I think, again, I don't want to get ahead of this, but it looks like law enforcement. I appreciate the efforts that the Capitol Police and others took. Uh, I mean, you literally watched people put their lives uh, in harm's way today uh, to protect uh, tourists and, and other citizens, and so I want to commend the work of the Capitol Police and the, com the work of law enforcement to uh, continue to protect us at this time when Washington is in its glory with the cherry blossoms out and so many people are coming here to visit uh, the Tidal Basin and their, their House of Representatives and the Senate um, and walk around Washington, D.C. It's reassuring to know that so many brave men and women are willing to put their lives on the line to make sure that the city stays safe. President Trump is reportedly expected to sign legislation that would allow internet service providers to monitor internet activity mm -hmm. and sell that information without <laughs> users' permission. Will he be signing that legislation, and why does he think it's good for America? I'm wondering who this benefits apart from ISPs and their executives. I, I know the House and the Senate have just passed that. When they enroll it, uh, then we will we'll have further updates on that. I'm not – when we have – I, I know that – I believe we have a statement of administration policy on that bill out. Um, and we have further updates on a signing ceremony. I will let you know. Healthcare. The president here last night, uh, speaking to senators, said, "Quoting here, I know that we're all going to make a deal on health care. That is such an easy one. I have no doubt that it's going to happen very quickly. What is the renewed sense of optimism, and what exactly is very quickly?" Uh, well, I, I think there's a little bit of sound that needs to go with that. I think he was having a little bit of fun with some previous comments that have been made uh, with respect to how easy it would be to get health care. Uh, so. Uh, but there is a, a renewed sense because I, I, I think, um, you know, the comments and the calls that the president has gotten, as well as the vice president and other members uh, of the senior team that have come in and said, we believe that there is a path forward. We have some ideas. We'd like to talk to you about that. I know I've seen some of the reports that have been put out uh, regarding some of the individual members of the Senate and the House that have been up here meeting with our team. And I think there is a lot of people who have some ideas about how to move forward. Um, and we're entertaining those. But I think the interesting thing is, is that despite uh, the setback that uh, we got last Friday, I think there is a renewed willingness from a lot of members who have made commitments to the American people and to their voters uh, that they want to see this done. And they understand that not getting this done means that, as I said, and the president echoed when he went up to the House Republican Conference, that there's going to be a, a consequence for this. People need to be taken at their word. There's a lot of members that made a commitment to their voters to their constituents that they were going to get something done on this and repeal and replace and address the health care situation, and that hasn't gotten done. And I think that's a, that's a concern but for Was them. he joking when he said that making a deal on health care would be an easy one? He, I, I think if you watch the tape, he was, it was a lighthearted moment, Jonathan. And so uh, he was having he a little... He doesn't think it's easy to... No, get he was... On yeah, no. <laughs> watch, I, I, he was having a fun time with the senators yeah. there. Uh, you know, the other thing that the president said last night was our, our soldiers are fighting like never before in Iraq. But as you know, Sean, U.S. Uh, troops there are in a support uh, role and advise and assist role. What does he mean? What does the president mean when he says they're fighting there like never before? Obviously, I think, that I think doesn't take into consideration what happened during the Bush administration and the Obama no, administration. No, no, no. I, I, I appreciate house to house. Yeah, I, I think that there's been um, some progress particularly Mosul, 
um, the way that they have taken back that city. And I, and I think that uh, for a long time there was very, a, a lot of concern about Iran uh, moving in and dominating parts of Iraq. And I think uh, with the advice and consent of, of U.S. military advisors, there's been tremendous progress in moving uh, Iraq forward to, uh, to a, a, an area of stability and to continuing to see the troops there in Iraq stand on their own. And I think that, that he is very pleased with the action that General Mattis and, and our soldiers and uh, sailors, airmen and Marines are taking uh, to, to do that. Ask you real quickly, um, you, you say that you embrace the House Intelligence Committee review of, of all of this. Um, John McCain said earlier today that because of the potential schism within that committee that there should be a select committee that goes from this. Would you embrace that if that happens, and, and what would your yeah, response? I don't. I, again, I'm not going to get into House and Senate matters, but I, I don't. I, I, as I mentioned at the outset to April, I, I believe that people like all that is how they conduct themselves internally is up to them. That's that's obviously not for us Does to the decide. The president want to start a new health care bill or tweak the one that did not go last week. I think we're starting with where we are and trying to move that forward. I think that is the current vessel. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you tomorrow, Thursday. Take care. I do owe you one tomorrow. Bye.